Uh, welcome to Easy Grade. In this example, we're going to do a constrained grade, but we're going to do it in two sections. Now, if you look at this job, we've got a high point here and low points at the top. The water tends to drain from here to there. Now, also from this edge here, it also drains a crossway. So we're going to um, split the field into two. That'll be one section, and that'll be another section. So click on the fields menu and click on insert field edge uh, just left click where you want to start basically just go around the up line of the job just click and move, click and move down the middle of that existing drain click and move right I've just closed it now to finish the process hit the enter key so this will be our section 1 now what we'll do, we'll can put in section 2 now, just the edges. So click on fields, insert fieldage again. Now click on that node there. Left click and move, left click and move, and finish on left click there. Hit the enter key or in, enter ag end again. Now sec to define a section, you go around and you left click on the links that make up that section so you just go around the job left click on no we selected the um the grid there oh, no. zoom this up a bit oh sorry click on the wrong thing right all right so we've got a closed section there from the fields menu click on fields Add a field. Right, I was created a field one. Now we'll create this next field. Click left click there, left click here, left click here. Fields, add a field. And we'll, if we come back to the left here, we've got a section one, a section two. Now we just left click on the screen inside that section and you get the the edge of the section highlighted. Left click into that section two to highlight that one. Now we're going to move these, change these axes so that it reflects the, the way the water wants to run. So just left click on that little axis and drag it around. So it's gone up that screen. Now over here, that's our X and that's our Y. Left click on it, we want the X to run. I guess that way, yep. Now look back at section one. Now we're going to, um, we don't want the grades across the field to probably, oh, I don't know, minus 4%. There's a bit of a drain here, so if we, if we put something in there to get rid of those drain edges, if it's, if it happens. Now up the field, we're going to um, grade it between 0.5 and minus 0.5%. Now as you're running down the slope they're negatives so we have minus 0.05% minus 5% okay that's section one look let's go into section two just left click in there um, here we're going to um, across the I'll just say minus one it's fairly flat across it so we can make that a bit more constrained and again the water's running down that slope so the y values are negative and here we're going to set it at minus minus one and minus four how these values you are set to reflect the slope existing slopes and things and what what you need to do for the, a good design. Okay, so we've got that set. We've both got constrained grades on both sections. Now click on the, the grading menu. We'll just say grid based on this one, grid based. And we'll do some smoothing at the end now. I've, let's say 15 and I don't know, 20. 
lovely. If you look at the second example, it explains what those values mean. Just click on post moving, click on OK. It runs through and does its thing. And it creates a surface too. Now these triangles are fit, oh the, sorry, the contours are fairly close together, the default ones. So we'll change that. Click on contour, surface parameters. We'll change the minor contour interval here. You don't have to change this if you don't like want to, but I think it's probably a good idea. Now you go contour, calculate contour, so it'll re it'll reuse those contour values further on. Now if we might be a good idea to have a colour it so we can see how it corresponds to the natural surface. Go contour, surface parameters, kind of surface two, surface colours. Now just say we'd already set up surface one, so we say copy from surface one, click on OK, and click OK, and that's the design. You can see how it, the water's running up that way fairly smoothly and running across that way. One other thing to look at, we can across the smoothing is done across that that link if you want it to stop it at the link. Left click that link, go on to fields, and then click on toggle fence links, and hit the escape key. It'll now be red, that means the smoothing won't go across that field. If we just run that again, uh, we get a different slightly different result um, so it's up to you which one you prefer uh, as before you can look at the different surface run your cursor around you can color that in if you desire uh, thanks for watching this video well, there's more coming